Hello everybody and welcome back to this Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is the Dapper Cthulhu and uh, last time we got the Silver Gauntlets out of the Spirit Temple and we're, uh, we're well we're finished with the child segment of the game. Like we have no more need to go back in time so we're going to continue in the future. So the first place that I want to go is going to be Kakariko Village. Because we have a couple of things to clear up there. I went ahead and walked to Kakariko Village because I actually needed to, needed it to be night and I was close enough and it happened to be happened to turn night right before I got here, so it's all the things are already looking uh, the way I want them to go, so yay. But the reason I wanted it to be night was because of a Skultula that I thought I could get as a kid, but it turns out I couldn't. What you gotta do is you gotta long shot over to this house, which is why I didn't just do it before when I had the hook shot. Need the long shot to get here as an adult. So on top of Impa's house is this uh, Skultula. And yes, this is Impa's house. I think there are a few uh, NPCs in the game that tell you such. But it, it has been confirmed to actually be Impa's house is my point. Next place I want to go is down into Dampe's grave. Okay, so I'm here in Dampe's grave, which is labeled with a question mark because it's obviously more than just a grave. Now, what you want to do is you want to complete this race in less than one minute. If you can do that, he has an additional prize for you. But you have to be near perfect to do it, or have the long shot because you saw what I tried to do the first time. See, I failed. That takes a heart away. You gotta dodge the fire he drops. Crap! Went the wrong way! Alright, try again. Nope. Yeah, if you can somehow do that in under a minute, he'll give you a piece of heart. If not, he'll just give you rupees. No! Get up there! Thank <laughs> you. 
I got here at exactly one minute. Let's see if that work was good enough. It was! Thank God. I've been sitting here for nearly four hours trying to beat this, and if you complete the Dampe race in a minute or less, he gives you a piece of heart. Which means I only have four more pieces of heart left to collect in the game. Because you get a heart container for finishing the spirit temple. But that I will worry about later because I'm going to get those pieces of heart. Hopefully in this episode. So I got that piece of heart. I got the um, Impa's house uh, Skultula taken care of. The next place I wanted to go was Death Mountain. Let me consult my notes real quick, make sure that I got everything here and I'm not forgetting anything. Nope, we're good. All right, so. I'm going to warp to Death Mountain and you remember that piece of heart on top of the uh, rock that covers the secret rooms in the fire temple? Yeah, I'm going to get that. That's why we planted this bean as a child. So we can get that. And now we have that. My notes talk about the uh, other piece of heart that's here in Death Mountain that we can see from here. And my reflexes from Breath of the Wild tell me to just jump and paraglide over there, but I gotta remind myself I'm not playing Breath of the Wild now. So I gotta go right back down here. <laughs> Get back on this. Ride it over to that side of the uh, this area. Then climb, climb over here and not have to worry about the stamina meter because there is none in this game. That's Death Mountain completed. We don't have to come back here anymore. Just consult my notes to ascertain that. Okay, we're done here. Now, the next place I want to go... Wait. Yeah. Next place I want to go is the lake. There's some stuff that we can get there. It's already night, so I don't have to worry about the sun song. So the first thing I want to do is hook shot up crap. Hook shot up there. Come on. Really? Then I want to kill this Skultula. Hey. Alright, now. Now that I got that, I want to make it day for the next thing I want to do. The sun will rise there and I just want to shoot an arrow at it. It'll drop this item here.
And honestly, I could have gotten this as soon as I finished the water temple, but truth be told, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason I didn't get it before. I forgot. Didn't have any grand plan for it. I just forgot to get it. This is the fire arrow. You uh, equip it the same way you would your normal bow, and anything you shoot with it should uh, catch fire. Yeah. So, the next thing I want to do actually is also here. The next two things. So, remember how I caught a 10-pound fish when I was here as a kid? I want to I want to catch a 15-pound fish. Turns out I read my notes wrong and it did say 10 pound as a fish and it said 15 as an adult. That's that's the mistake I made before. But yeah, that's where I'm going next is the uh, fishing pond. Cut some fish on the way. Alright. There's another tech tight over here. I don't need I, I don't need the red tunic on right now. I'll need it again. But not until Not until after the spirit temple, let's say. This is the fish I wanted. Weigh my fish. New record. Weighs at least 10 pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. Yep. My notes are wrong. <laughs> that was a lot quicker and easier than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be sitting here for another couple hours, but no. All right. This guy, he somehow remembers me from seven years ago. Probably because it was 20 minutes ago. Not 20 minutes ago. That was a joke. It wasn't very funny. Well, he remembers me because I'm his only customer. Okay, that's explained. Yes, I want to go fishing. It costs 20 rupees. Okay, I can, I can afford that. Still with the rumble pack? Seriously, I didn't know this game was compa or this version of the game was compatible with it. I'd never seen that before. Seriously, it's, it's weird. Okay. Now I believe this is the fish I want. was I gotta be standing in the right place. This is gonna be harder than it was as a kid. Considering it was a lot easier than usual. Let's see what happens. Come on, fish. They don't wise up until after you fail to catch them, so I can still try to catch it, but if if the hook slides loose, I'll have to pay to try again. But yes, the fish all have... Uh, the fish are all bigger. They all weigh more now. And you get a different prize for catching the big one as an adult. Am 
Like I said, you gotta get at least 15 pounds. This is not him. Eight pounds, see? No, I don't want to keep it. Oh, frick! Unfortunately, as far as I know, there is no quicker way to do this. So I gotta do this the way that I'm doing it. I mean, I know there's a sinking lure, but but if you use it, I don't think you get your reward. F finally! My God, 18 pounds. Yes, I am keeping that. Oh my God. And with that, I'm done fishing. I had to, I had to catch a fish that was more than 15 pounds. I caught one. I'm done. What do you want? Weigh my fish. <sighs> I get a golden scale for doing that. Now, why is that valuable? It's an upgrade to my silver scale. It lets me dive deeper than I could before. I can't just walk out. I have to tell him I want to quit. And give him back the fishing rod. Why not just give me a fishing rod I can use anywhere? Hell if I know. Uh, so, now that I got that golden scale, I'm going to go and do one more thing here at the lake. That one thing is right here in this lab. I'm gonna jump into the pool and I'm going to dive as deep as I can, which is now eight meters. When you dive and touch the bottom of the pool without using the iron boots, when you come back up, you talk to this old man you may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. Um, you touched the bottom just now. Fantastic. I'll give this to you. There is another piece of heart. There's three of them now. 
Okay. Now we head back to the Desert Colossus. Now that we're back at the Desert Colossus, there's only a couple of things that I want to get um, before I end off the episode here. And uh, I want it to be night, first of all. It took me a second to remember the buttons I needed to push. But once the sun goes down, I first want to come over to this oasis over here because there is a Skultula in one of the trees. Okay. So I can get it for that angle. Good. Okay. And then, uh... I gotta get on this plant. And there is one more Skulltula that I want to get. Here. Let me consult my notes to see if there are any more here. Nope. I should be at 96 now. I am at 96. Okay. And before I end off the episode, there is literally one more thing that I want to get. Actually, actually, before I do that, there is uh, one more thing that I forgot to get. There is, there is one more, uh, There is one more thing I forgot to get that's in my notes that I, sh that I should get now before I go into the spirit temple. That is... It's in Zora's River, but I need to be an adult for it. I just need the silver gauntlets for it so I can get it now before I take on the... Uh, Spirit Temple, and I'm going to get it now before I forget. Okay, so now here we are at Zora's Fountain, and uh, this is actually where I needed to go with the Silver Gauntlets. Um, you remember how there was this Great Fairy's Fountain all the way over here that you bombed open the wall, but this Silver Stone... Um, was unaffected. Well, if you pick it up with the silver gauntlets, that gets rid of it. And then there's this hole underneath it. Drop down. It looks clear, but there's actually enemies here. Invisible Skulltulas. You can tell just by the way they're hanging there and um, their death card. And how they bounce on the ground when you um, kill them.
But once you get past them, you climb up this wall, as you see me doing. And there's a, there's a visible one. Kill it. Right next to it, at night, is a golden skull club. This makes number 97. There's only three more left in the entire game. I'm gonna be honest, I've been waiting to get this to get to this point for months, and I am rather excited. I a part of me thought I'd never get to this point because I uh, tend to fall off track when I get distracted and when I um, well when I get distracted basically. You all see how I operate. You all have seen how I operate. You all have seen how my mind works. I get distracted pretty easily. So, you know how that happens. But anyway, now do we got number 97? I'm gonna head back to the Desert Colossus. because I wanted to end things at the Desert Colossus, seeing as it's the next big dungeon I have to do. So, here we are. And there is one last thing I want to do in this video before I end things off. And, uh... It is to... land on this arch and pick up this piece of heart. So that's the very last piece of heart in the game. I've got all of them. Which means I have 19 hearts to, to work with in the Spirit Temple. So... I'm going to go in the Spirit Temple, and I am going to complete the Spirit Temple in the next episode. See you guys then.